Okay, now we're going to talk about the ventral fins and the selection of ventral fins and the function of a ventral fin. I have four ventral fins in my lineup. Small ventral fin that you see here, then we have a medium ventral fin, then we have a large ventral fin, and then we have a new one to be added to the family called the abuelo. The reason I call this the abuelo, for you people that understand Spanish, that means grandpa, and I named this after my oldest daughter, Alicia, who informed me that I'm a grandpa. So this is the granddaddy of all ventrals. So what happens, most commonly, small ventral is the fin that's being used. And if you notice the plant shapes of all the ventral fins, they have leading edge sweeps, which basically is a keel. A keel is anything that has an elongated shape where the spine runs shallow in an elongated plant shape. As you see, all of these fall into that category. People say, oh, a keels have a big base. Well, that's not always true because you've got daggers that have big bases. So if someone says a keel is a wide base fin, then you're already in trouble. But also we have flex in these fins. The reason for the flex and the plant shape that you see is so that when you have side resistance of mother nature pushing, the fin will flex off and go small and reattach itself. So that's how you keep your direction going straight. 19 square inches is what the small fin is. Believe it or not, the abuelo fin has the exact same surface area as the small fin. And I'll get more to that in a minute. Then we have the medium ventral here. Medium ventral fin is for people that have stability issues. When you have stability problem, naturally of the roll side to side because of the volume of the board, people want to have a little more stability, we go to a medium ventral. Then we have the large ventral that basically is for excursion boards. I've had people that have done channel paddles, uh, ocean paddles in Florida, coming up to Boston. This is the fin they use with a, a big rear fin, and that's why pretty much a large fin or excursion ventral. Then we come to the abuelo. The abuelo has the center cutout. The reason for the center cutout, I learned this from the Jeremy Riggs Air Corps fin that I designed, which we call the rudderless keel. This has multiple foils on it. What will happen is, is that water will notice the front and then all of a sudden go through so you can now foot steer and you don't have any solid matters like you have in the other fins. Then what happens is, is that you have the depth and as water is moving from nose to tail, it recognizes the plant shape of the fin. Then you have the tracking off the trailing edge because of the surface area here. So the abuelo is an interesting one and pretty much for the guys, we're now testing this in downwind situation also. But the only trick with the abuelo is, is that it's not seaweed friendly. So if there's seaweed or eelgrass or, or kelp, not a good fin, you go right back to the small. And that will give you our ventral selection. And this is why a ventral fin looks the way it does and the purpose of a ventral fin. Uh, I tried carbon for you lightweight people that want everything to be light. But carbon is a great buzzword, but the problem with carbon, there's no flex. Flex is part of the release, and if you can't get release, then you're fighting the fin. And like I said before, if Mother Nature recognizes a fin, then you're going to recognize the fin, and then it becomes a negative in the whole concept. That's it for a ventral.